welcome 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 back to my channel on today i will show you how to season and fry this fabulous snapper guys um it's already cleaned and washed i do have a video showing how i clean my fish i'll go ahead and link it in the description box if you don't know how to clean your fish and also um if you notice i do have some slits because we want to make sure this fish see how big it is you want to make sure it is nice and tasty to the bone this is the mix that i will be using in here i have my haitian ippies i would also go ahead and put a link by, um, below on how to make your haitian ippies and to that i added one whole lime i squeezed one whole lime juice fresh of course then i used just a little bit of my haitian um hot sauce it's just so we can get a little bit of spice i didn't use too much um or you can go ahead and chop some scotch bonnet in your mixture just to give it a tad bit of heat and i also use some black pepper we use some seasoning salt some uh, garlic powder and if you use maggi go ahead and use a maggi cube a half of cube for each fish so i don't use maggi so i used my chicken um maggi uh paste um this one is gluten-free and non-gmo and then we did use a little bit of salt okay you just mix everything together you give it a taste when it's to your liking then you go ahead and just put it all over your fish, okay? You want to make sure you put it on the fish. And also, you knead it inside your fish, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and mix this all over our fish, front and back. And then you also want to make sure you get all this delicious seasoning inside of the crack of the fish all the way to the tail. Everything has to be delicious, guys. All right, once I get through massaging the season all on our fish, I'm gonna come back. And I forgot to mention, I do have fresh thyme and fresh um, parsley in here as well, all right? All right, our fish is nice and seasoned. I forgot to mention, if you don't eat the head, go ahead and remove it. Um, we're gonna allow this to marinate for about four to five hours because I do have some errands I need to run. Or you can make this the night before and let it marinate overnight. Once I'm, I return, I'll go ahead and show you how I fry these. All right, just wanted to show you our fish. Um, I end up allowing it to marinate overnight. I got caught up, so. I didn't have time to fry it. But guys, do you see our fish? It is nice and seasoned. I know it's gonna be fabulous. Because it's so big, I'm gonna go ahead and just fry one fish because my husband is not gonna be able to eat all this. So we're gonna go ahead and share this fish. Okay, so what you wanna do is make sure the liquid is all the way off. Shake it off like this, or you could use a paper towel, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna place it on our flour like that. Let me go ahead and just move this out the way. Okay, so you're gonna just put some flour all over your fish. There's no need for this spoon. And I didn't season my flour um, because my fish is nice and tasty, so there's no need to season the flour. And we're just going to lightly coat this because I'm going to take the, all of this flour off. We're just going to lightly coat it. And you want to make sure you open up the inside and get some flour in there as well. Okay. Want the tails, everything has to be covered with our flour. I'm gonna go ahead 
and make sure every part has flour in it. Put some more inside to make sure this side has it as well. Okay. And then you're gonna take it and you're gonna dust the flour off. And once my pan is nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and place that in our oil. All right, I add some oil to my cast iron. You wanna go ahead and make sure you dust all of the extra flour off. And I'm gonna just start off with the nose. Just make sure our pan is hot. So we're gonna, don't worry about this. Eventually, I'm gonna kind of twist it when it starts to cook so we can get the tail nice and cooked. So you don't wanna move it. I'm gonna allow it to fry for about a couple of minutes. Let it get nice and golden brown. And I do have my stove on a medium high because you do not want to burn the fish before it's cooked. And once it's nice and um, beautiful, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Just wanted to show you that I flipped the fish. It's looking fabulous. We're gonna allow it to cook for a few more minutes on the other side. And I'm going to flip it just one more time. And what I did is I lowered my heat to a medium because we definitely do not want our fish to... You see that? Okay. All right, I'm going to show you how to make a quick sauce using... And use some of the same oil. My spoon was wet, guys. Using some of my the same oil that I fried my fish with to the oil. It's already hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato paste and you're just gonna allow the tomato paste to cook in your oil like this. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water in here just to help it out. I have my stove on medium high. Allow this to cook for a few minutes. Then I'll come back and show you what I do next. I'm cooking for a few minutes now. Okay, do not want it to burn. Now I'm going to use the same liquid that was in the tray that we marinate our fish in. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it. Just a little bit like this. And turn my stove down to so, uh, number four. And I'm gonna add some of my Haitian hot sauce because we want just a little bit of spiciness like that. Just add just a little bit more water. Okay. See how nice and beautiful that looks. Now we want to taste it. And if you need to adjust, just add. Guys, it is fabulous just the way it is. It is absolutely outstanding. Our fish was nicely seasoned. Okay. So we're going to allow this to cook for, let me just say maybe like two, maybe a minute or two. You can add your onions and bell pepper or whatever else you want to add in there. Okay. And once you add your onions in, you can add your you could add thyme and parsley and just 
So I already have a little thyme in there and a little parsley. So just put a little bit of thyme in like this. And our sauce is ready. All right, guys, here's our fabulous, fabulous, fabulous fish. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy it with these fried plantains. We also have our onion pickles on the right or the left. We have some rice and beans and also our sauce that we made. Until next time, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe. Delicious.